Democrats hope to force vote to end government shutdown vertical line all Jay Zayra America. Dismiss. Caution icon attention. The browser or device you are using is out of date. It has known security flaws and a limited feature set. You will not see all the features of some websites. Please update your browser. A list of the most popular browsers can be found below. Mozilla Firefox. Internet Explorer. Google Chrome. Safari. Opera. Dot global header background image. URL slash content slash dam slash a jam slash images slash AJAM site header BG 91013 to at media minimum width 768px and max width 959px. Global header background image URL slash content slash a jam slash JCR colon content slash header slash image double dot adapt dot 960 dot high dot 1 trillion 380 billion 930 million 925 thousand 411 dot jpg at media max width 767 px dot global header background image URL slash content slash a jam slash JCR colon content slash header slash MJ mobile dot adapt dot 753 dot medium dot 1 trillion 380 billion 930 million 925 thousand 411 dot JPG display mobile navigation display mobile search bar news video shows schedule more shows sections US International Economy Technology Science Environment Health Education Culture Sports Trending Shutdown Healthcare Labor Washington DC Search Form Democrats Hope to Force Vote to End Government Shutdown October 4, 2013 5.13 p.m. Hat With an obscure legislative tool called a discharge petition, Democratic leaders will try to circumvent opposition topics. Shutdown Congress U.S. View Comments House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi listens to Rep. George Miller on Friday as he announces a plan to force a vote on the government's budget. Alex Juan Flash Getty Images Democrats in the House of Representatives on Friday announced a plan that would, if successful, force a vote on legislation to fully reopen the federal government. The workaround solution would circumvent contentious debates between party leaders by using an obscure legislative tool called a discharge petition which would dislodge an earlier funding bill from a House committee and send it to the House floor if a simple majority of lawmakers in the chamber signed the petition. If the strategy is effective, it would still take a week or so to clear procedural hurdles in the House before a vote reaches the floor, Rep. George Miller, D. California, told reporters on Friday. That means the earliest vote on a funding bill could come on October 14, a federal holiday. The discharge petition is rarely used because it requires House members, in this case Republicans, to defy party leadership. But some lawmakers are confident that, given the dire situation facing the nation, the move will work. Republican leaders in the House have been under pressure from many conservatives and Tea Party members, who are urging the GOP to refuse to pass a spending bill unless President Barack Obama agrees to delay implementation of the Affordable Care Act for a year. But Miller and other Democrats believe there are enough moderate Republicans in the House willing to side with Democrats in order to pass a bill that would end the current shutdown. To bring the vote to the floor, 218 signatures would be needed. We will round them up. We expect to get them in a day, Miller said. Since the start of the government shutdown on Tuesday, House Republican leaders have blocked other maneuvers by Democrats to pass a so-called clean bill which would grant emergency funding to reopen the government without contentious add-ons to delay or kill the Affordable Care Act, better known as Obamacare. The shutdown, which occurred when the House failed to pass a routine government funding bill, has so far caused a furlough of hundreds of thousands of federal workers, and has halted myriad government functions. All JZR and Wire Services Join the conversation. Find All JZR America on your TV. Go. Topics. Congress Shutdown Related News Family of woman killed in D.C. Chase says police shooting not justified. Congress likely to approve bill on back pay for furloughed workers. Why the government shutdown is bad for Americans' health? Evacuations ordered as tropical storm Karen nears Gulf Coast. Editors' picks. Olympic hopefuls hit the slopes and the books in Alaska. Robin Island comes to Manhattan.